descriptive language lesson. We are going to build on what we learned about Frida Kahlo and William Shakespeare from the lessons on April 20th and April 21st. Go ahead and type your name and your section number here. So today, the objective is that you will write your own description of an animal in the style of either Kahlo or Shakespeare. This first question here gets us thinking about the text. Even though we don't have the full text here, we have some short excerpts. So if you remember back to Calla's writing, she is talking about her husband, Diego. And she writes that his wide, dark, and intelligent, bulging eyes protrude like the eyes of a frog. So there she is saying his eyes are like. Now Shakespeare, on the other hand, wrote a poem um, from and from the perspective of the speaker is talking about the mistress. My mistress's eyes are nothing like the sun. This is our keyword here, nothing. So our keyword in Shakespeare is nothing like, and then our keyword in Callow is just like. So when we look down here, we want to think about what are these two authors? How are they writing? What are they doing in their writing so that we can write like one of them? So first we want to look at Frida Kahlo. Does she use a simile? So a simile is using the word like or as to make a comparison between two things. So you have the person, Diego, and then she says his eyes, the eyes of a person, are like the eyes of a frog. Those are two completely different things and she's using the word like. We want to determine, is Shakespeare also using a simile? He says, my mistress's eyes are nothing like the sun. There again, we have a comparison. We have eyes of a person, and then we have another object, which is the sun. So again, we have a comparison. So both of these use similes. I'm going to go ahead and mark that one. Uses nature imagery. So does Callow use something from nature? She compares a human being to a frog. Does Shakespeare use something from nature? He compares a human being's eyes to the sun. Now, which... So both of these should be marked both. Let's see why that's... I'll fix that. Which one of these is saying their love is like, or their the person that they love is like, one thing and the person that they love is not like something else. So again, I told you to hover over these words for William Shakespeare. Nothing like. That looks just like this. Not like. So Shakespeare wrote about his love is not these things or the speaker told about his love is not these things and then Shakespeare, uh, Frida Kahlo says my love, his eyes are like So when you're writing your poem, you're either going to talk about what it does look like or what it doesn't look like. So you're going to start by picking one of these animals. And they are supposed to look funny because if you remember Frida Kahlo's comparison, the bulging eyes of the frog, um, they're supposed to be funny. And you're going to be in love with this or you're going to write a poem like either Frida Kahlo comparing it to something else or um, by saying it is like that thing or you're gonna write a poem like William Shakespeare saying it's not like that so like if you're thinking about Frida Kahlo she would just say oh well this ugly fish his eyes are popping out of his head but whereas Shakespeare might say oh my fish his eyes are you know small and delicate or not small and delicate right they're not those things um same thing with the porcupine fish um <laughs> maybe here my orangutan's teeth if you're writing like Shakespeare are not evenly made but if you're writing like Callow you might say my orangutan's teeth are sharp and uneven. So she's straight to the point and she tells you exactly what it is. And are like that of 
I don't know, a saw or something. Okay, so here you're going to say, which animal did you choose out of all of these? Just choose one. Write five words here to describe your animal. So how do you see this animal? Um, you could talk about the color. You could talk about um, uh, the size of it. You could talk about is it pretty or is it ugly? Um, do, is it cute to you or um, any of those things? Five words to describe it. Um, maybe it has slimy skin or maybe it's creepy. Anything. Now you're going to note the animal's features that stand out. And you might have already talked about them here, but go specifically and say, okay, well, what do you see when you see this animal? Do you see its eyes? Do you see its mouth? Do you see its, um, like, sticky, I don't even know what that is, um, <laughs> like its sticky skin, new, what is this face this monkey is making, right? Um, which features or which part of this animal really stand out to you? And then you are going to finish this sentence twice. So I need two different sentences here. My animal is like a what? Because why? Okay. So you are preparing to write a simile just like Shakespeare and just like Callow, right? His eyes are like this because why? Okay. Why are your frog's eyes or your fish's eyes like a what? Um, why is his beak like a what? Why is his teeth like a saw? Because they're sharp. Okay, you're preparing yourself to write the poem. Find two ways to say your animal is not like beautiful things like Shakespeare does. So here you're making comparisons kind of like Callow. And then here you're going to make two comparisons like Shakespeare. So you're going to say the opposite, right? So my fish is not, um evenly colored like a beautiful flower or <clears throat> don't use my examples <laughs> um but you're making comparisons of things that it's not like that are attractive and then finally you're going to write your poem with at least eight lines describing the animal that you chose Decide whether you're going to use these comparisons that you first wrote or these comparisons like Shakespeare wrote. So you're either writing, my animal is like these things or my animal is not like something. 